We begin tonight with a warning to our viewers. You might find the images and the details in this story disturbing. Tell me what uh, right Crystal Beth. Dina Winterburn is trying to find a vein on her left arm. It's a little chilly in Edmonton, Hi, and she's okay. having a hard time. So she tries her right arm. It gets a little bloody, but no luck. Onto her leg. This is what it looks like for addicts who have nowhere to go. Using alone means no one will be there to help if you overdose. That's why Mary Jo Dion is here. On the street, she's known as Mama G. She carries a naloxin kit and is ready to intervene if her friend overdoses. If you can't come back to me, I have to give her two shots of this. Right now on the streets, they have heroin and fentanyl. Fentanyl is running again and it's killed the guy this morning at four o'clock. They're just steps away from a supervised consumption site. They'd rather be inside than out here, but the site doesn't open until 8 p.m. Thursday, the Alberta government describes supervised consumption sites across Alberta as locations where chaos rules. Party leaders said crime was on the rise around the sites, except in Edmonton, which reported a slight decrease in calls for service while calls increased in the rest of the city. However, police data says something else. EPS tells City News the sites have not increased crime or disorder in the surrounding community. For drug users who depend on the sites, it's a matter of life or death. If they close it, there's going to be more deaths and there's going to be more and more and more. And it's getting younger and younger and the dope is getting more dirtier and dirtier. I lose a lot of my family, street family, by uh, overdoses. Um, because there's not, not anywhere safe for them to do a shot. In Alberta alone, two people die of an overdose every single day. Over the coming months, the government will consider changes to these sites on a city-by-city -city basis. Dina knows every single time she shoots up, there's a chance she might not wake up. She fears her friend might not always be at her side. That happens outside, that, that's, how, that's how people die, because there's no one around. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.